सब्सक्राइब एडम टेक टू गेट न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन Hi guys in this video i'm going to discuss about how to load flat file records inside our database table so at here i'm going to create first new job create job at here or let's give meaningful name so at here going to write flat file to database table Now, if you want, then here you can give the purpose and description. Both are optional. Now, here after let's click on finish. So there, one job it's created with the name of flat file to database tab. Now, here after the next is so let's uh, drag uh, at here of flat file into designer. So here I'm going to use flat file file CSV. So CSV is my flat and it has three columns. now drag that so this should be input tab okay t file input delimited it's okay now click on okay now here after we need to use at here t map search at here t map and here you can find or t map so drag this t map so by using t map or t map allow join And here after column or row filtering transformation and multiple outputs. So this is the use of T map. Now here after we need add here target that is that should be database table. So add here I'm going to use Oracle or table. So Oracle add here is called a schema inside there is one table name is tab one. So this should be output table. So see at here Oracle with SID. So this is the target table. So if you want, then here table one I'm going to use. So here table one. Now if you execute, so there there are no any record inside table one. Now here after the next two thing is, so let's uh, click there. Okay. Now here after right click here you can find row and main. So link with T map. Now here after the next is here you can find output. So this uh, drag into table. So add here let's give add here result. The output name result. Click on OK. Yes. Now here after let's uh, double click there on T map. So here you can find table talent open studio for data integration T map. so by using using this we can so it's coming at here this is the source okay and this is the target so at here or sometimes data or tabs mismatch so we need to give at here source and target or table or data must be matched okay so at here, here you can find integer so at here i'm going to give on target integer Now here, this is the size two, and it's a can't be zero. So let's give at here five. So at here two string, at here two string. So this is the key. If you it's not essential, if you want, then here you can give the key. Now the next is we have to link. So DPT number that should be linked with column one, and here this should be column two, and here this is the row. now here after click on apply yes and here after okay yes now here you can find so here this the link add here now here after save the job now let's execute the job so it's a building add here so add here no any red signal so that means there are no any errors So job F job ended at this point on nine six two thousand nineteen. Now execute at here or target table. Now here you can find incoming record from the source. It's load into the target table table one. So this is the simplest example where we can use flat file or CSV using with using T map. We can load the Or data into the any database table. So at here this is the different source, and here this is the 
different or table. Now here after if you want add skewed once again. So if I add skewed the add here. So again I am getting the expected output. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So I used add here CSV you can try with any other like uh, text file you can use and do the same thing definitely you get the expected output. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.